I am Councillor Andy McGregor, Chairman of Ada District Council, and I'm in Buckingham Park, standing at the Holocaust Memorial Tree on Holocaust Memorial Day, 27th of January, 2023. And the theme of this year's Holocaust Memorial Day is ordinary people. The crimes of the Holocaust would not have been possible without the cooperation of ordinary people, either by actively taking part or by standing by and doing nothing. As is often quoted, all it takes for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. This is a real story. In 1944, a five-year-old boy, Martin Stern, the son of a Jew, an ordinary person still alive today, was at school in the time of the Nazi regime and Adolf Hitler. Two young men, ordinary people, came to Martin's class at school and asked, is Martin Stern here today? The teacher, an ordinary person, who knew what was going on, answered, no, he's not here today. But Martin put up his hand and said, I'm here. As he was being led out of the class, Martin looked back and saw the ashen face of the teacher. She knew where Martin was going. Martin ended up with his sister in a prison camp. Martin saw many people being loaded as prisoners into cattle trucks. Ordinary people, railway workers and soldiers were just doing their jobs with no expression on their faces. One brave, ordinary local woman said she wanted to look after some of the children. She chose Martin and his two-year-old sister. An ordinary man came to their dormitory full of children and read out the names of the children one by one. And those children were escorted onto a tra train until there was just Martin with his two-year-old sister in the arms of this brave local woman in the prison dormitory. The train left without them, but all the other children were taken to the Auschwitz extermination camp. What can we do, us ordinary people? We can choose. We could choose to be like the two young men who gathered up Jewish children for extermination. We could choose to be like those railway workers and train drivers, all ordinary people, but people who took innocent children to their deaths. We could choose to be like the man who read the list of children to be taken to their deaths, or we could choose, like many people, to do nothing. Or we can choose to be like the teacher, an ordinary person who did her best to protect Martin. And we can choose to be like the woman who saved a brother and sister from extermination. We can only pacify our conscience by the delusion that we can do no harm if we take no part in evil. Bad men need nothing more to achieve their ends than have ordinary people look on and do nothing. As ordinary people, we should speak out wherever we see prejudice by being constantly vigilant to ensure that we ourselves do not have any prejudice. Thank you.